Great vitamin A and then uh, get your nutrition, your other nutrition from another source. Use, uh, I'm sorry, vitamin C. Use uh, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams minimum of vitamin C a day, but you can take up to 5,000 to 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Uh, the mineral zinc has got a couple of neat benefits. Number one, it's one of the most important, if not the most important, mineral for the immune system. Selenium is also important. I'll tell you about that here in a minute. Uh, but zinc is also very helpful for the digestive system, and zinc can be also uh, helpful for the inner ear. In fact, zinc is known as one of the one of the remedies. I don't like necessarily nutritional remedies, but zinc is considered to be a remedy for tinnitus. So 50 milligrams of zinc a day might be something to think about. Uh, selenium is also a very important uh, mineral for the immune system. I'd be using 600, 400 to 600 micrograms of the OPC, uh, sorry, the ultimate selenium from longevity. And then uh, your fat-soluble vitamins are also going to be very important. Take them with fatty foods, with meals, with apple cider vinegar, with your ultimate enzymes, and by fat Fatty nutrients I'm talking about, vitamins D, E, A, and K, especially vitamin A. There's a very important relationship between vitamin A and zinc. Deficiencies in one can cause deficiencies in the other. Take them both together. Uh, vitamin A, I'd be using 20,000 international units a day. Vitamin E, around 400 IU a day. Uh, vitamin D, get it from the sun, or if you want to supplement, 5,000 is a good place. 5,000 uh, milligrams is a good um, um, Sorry, IU, I think, on vitamin D is a good place to be. And then uh, vitamin K is around uh, 5,000 micrograms is a good dose of vitamin K. And then uh, if you really want to go all out, my friend, get yourself on, get some vitamin B12 injections in addition to getting on a, a good vitamin, a good B-complex vitamin. The BTT will get you all your B-complex, but a vitamin B12 injection might be helpful. There's tons of ways you could go, but please, my friend, focus on the digestive system, focus on inflammation, focus on the immune system and stuff that's getting in to the body that shouldn't and link your foods up to digestive symptoms if you can. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it, Rick. Moving on to Texas, and let's say hi to Kevin. Welcome to the Bright Side, my friend. What's going on? Um, I has a number of medical conditions, but she's concerned about her gallbladder. Um, it's functioning at 39%. She wants it removed, but the doctor tells her it's fine, even though nurses have told her if it's below 50%, it needs to be removed. And when, when she what can she do to stop having the pain she's right. feeling and maybe get that much more functioning? All right, good question. Hundreds of thousands of gallbladders are yanked out of people, butchered out of people's bodies every year. If she voluntarily wants to have her gallbladder removed, I don't know what to tell you. That's just craziness. Uh, obviously, we all have the right to have our bodies hacked up if we want, and if she wants to remove her gallbladder, more power to her. That's her right. However, if you don't want your gallbladder removed, you don't need to have your gallbladder removed, and please don't let anybody tell you you don't need your gallbladder. Believe it or not, I hear doctors say it all the time that you can live just fine without a gallbladder. I've heard physicians say many animals live just perfectly with no gallbladder at all, as if that means that human beings can live fine without an organ that they were born with. You need everything in there, people, including your gallbladder. The gallbladder is a bag. The word bladder means bag. The word gall means bile. So gallbladder is bile bag. It's a bag of bile. It's a bag filled with bile. What is bile? Well, next to blood and lymph, bile is probably the most important fluid in the body. Bile is responsible for helping the body process fatty materials, fatty vitamins, fatty no, essential fatty acids. Fatty uh, phytonutrients, fatty nutrients that are found in plants, carotenes and flavonoids. Without a gallbladder, you are at risk for malabsorption for all of these. Malabsorption of vitamin D, malabsorption of vitamin E, malabsorption of vitamin K, malabsorption of vitamin A. Malabsorption of all your minerals because your minerals need bile too. Oh, and there's more. Malabsorption of carotenes, malabsorption of flavonoids, hormone problems because hormones come from fats, and malabsorption of essential fatty acids. Now, does that sound like something that your friend wants to have? Did you say this was your friend or your wife now, or sir? It's my wife. Okay, does that sound like something your wife really wants to deal with? Malabsorption of all that stuff? I don't think so. So here's the thing. The gallbladder will get messed up when you are not processing fats correctly because bile becomes cloggy and sticky. See, bile starts off in the liver. It moves to the gallbladder. It moves to the small intestine. It goes into the large intestine, and then it goes back into the liver. It's actually, it goes back into the liver from the small intestine, but regardless, it circles around. It goes liver, gallbladder, 
small, uh, small intestines, some goes into the large intestine, some goes back into the liver, and then it goes back around. And over time, as we're not processing fatty material, that bile becomes sludgy and sticky, just like engine cleaner, just like STP engine cleaner becomes stu- uh, uh, sludgy and sticky over time. Same thing with bile. When that bile becomes sludgy and sticky and thick and gooky, it clogs up the little tubes in the gallbladder that are supposed to squeeze that bile into the small intestine, and that's called gallbladder pain. And if it gets the bile gets cloggy and sticky enough, it can actually form a stone that can stick in that little that little uh, connection between the gallbladder and the small intestine, and that's called intense pain, serious pain. And that's when they just say, "Take the darn gallbladder out because I can't deal with this," and that's very understandable. So what you want to do for bile, uh, for a, a clogged up gallbladder or gallbladder pain, is you want to figure out why the bile is becoming sludgy and sticky, and it's usually due to something you're eating. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Nothing gets into the bile unless you've eaten first. So what you got to do is you got to link your bile problems. You got to connect your bile problems to digestive symptoms like bloating and gas and diarrhea and heartburn, and then link those up to foods and eliminate those foods. And I hate to do this to you, my friend, because uh, there's so much more to say about this, and it's very important. I wonder if I get you to call back tomorrow, my friend. Kevin in Texas, can I get you to call back first thing in the morning or first thing tomorrow so we can get you? I hope we can because this is very important. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. There's so much to talk about, and I hate running out of time, but we do every day. That's just the way it is on the bright side. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about the triangle. Uh, maybe we'll get to some of the electrical uh, nature of food and how important the electrical components of what we eat are. And then we'll uh, finish up with Kevin's question about the gallbladder. All right, that's all for now. Stay tuned for Alex Jones next on most of these stations. We will talk to you all later, all later friends. Bye for now. It's already too late. Criminals have kicked in your door and are now in your home. Before this happens, homeowners have a choice. One, do nothing and hope you aren't one of the 1.4 million families attacked each year. Or two, refuse to be a victim and for as low as $59, reinforce your doors with door devils. Door devils simply attach to existing door frames and have proven to stop the biggest bad guys from kicking in doors. Read our police testimonials of real-life events at doordevil.com. Alarms don't stop kick-ins. We do. Doordevil.com. So my elementary school-aged child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. Great news for your water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water.